Coastal Source presents The Morning Show in High Definition. For the first it is 528. Thanks for waking up with us this morning. You know, Facebook is not just for friends. After a pay cut at work and falling behind on bills, a woman runs into an unfriendly encounter with creditors on Facebook. Melanie Beecham's life took an unexpected turn for the worst when she faced a pay cut at work and had to go on medical leave for three months. Eventually, Beecham fell behind on her car payments. My dad was helping me with the car payment, but then I couldn't keep putting that stress and pressure on him. Beecham owed about two months' worth, or a little more than $720. She said her finance company, Mark One Financial, offered to defer payments, but then another unforeseen event. I don't know why they would go on Facebook and contact my family. A collections agent from the finance company posing as a Jeff Happenstance befriended Beecham on Facebook. If they can't find you, it's easy to pull up a Facebook account and see that you have a Facebook account. And then they have the information to go and possibly call you at work, call you at home. And call you on your cell phone. Beecham claims she even received text messages up to 20 in a single day all traced back to Mark One Financial. I don't know Jeff Happenstance. Company executives say they were unaware of the false name used on Facebook to pursue Beecham and apparently unsure if their strategy was right or wrong. Are you convinced that what you're doing is well, legal? I'm not a lawyer. We believe it's legal. So Local 10 asked Howard Dvorkin of Consolidated Credit Counseling Services who specializes in debt counseling. It is illegal, however, the laws haven't been modified or amended since 2006 regarding this. But Beecham isn't waiting for the law to catch up with technology. She's suing Mark One Financial to stop the company from contacting her family and friends. Whether she wins or not, Dvorkin says her story alone can accomplish a lot, potentially helping countless others be more cautious on cyberspace. You have to be careful today because not everybody has the same good intentions that you have. That was right.